All right, so today we are finally making the canopy alive. So I know you've all been waiting for it. We're finally gonna do the 12 volt stuff in the canopy. I've been waiting to do this. Need to get it set up so we can use it when I go away camping and stuff like that. So I've got all the stuff laid out here. I'll quickly give you a uh, quick run through of what we got. And disclaimer, yes, a lot of this stuff is from eBay. I know I've talked about buying cheap stuff in the past, back when we did the reverse lights. But for this, I didn't want to go out and spend crazy amounts of money. I just wanted stuff that I know will work. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be the best quality in the world, but it will work. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, what we got going here. So Anderson plugs, picked up a bunch of them just because I needed them and they are a lot cheaper on eBay than buying them in store. LED lights, it's just like a warm white. For the main power cable from the second batch to the canopy, we've got a um, inline fuse with a 50 amp glass fuse for that. That's a good one, I know that I bought that from Jaker. Same with this, got a, that's like an outdoor connection for Anderson plugs, so that'll mount to the back of the tray. Just keeps it waterproof. Uh, for a little switch panel we're gonna got going, uh, that's just an eBay special. Uh, oh, we just got some cable, that's just for running LEDs, light stuff like that. Um, a solar, um, like amp reader, just a basic one, just because I'm gonna have the solar controller in there as well, running from the solar panel on the roof. And also a fuse block with negative bus, that sort of thing. That's just a cheap one as well, but it's just doing LEDs, things like that mainly. And then also for things like wiring, so this, um, these other things, they're gonna be mounted on. We have a first aid box from Bunnings. I know you can use like electrical boxes, but for whatever reason they charge heaps for them. So I got a tip off from a mate, he said just get the ones from Bunnings, they work fine. So yeah, we're gonna be using that. We're gonna mount stuff on the front and then mount that up on the wall of the canopy. So yeah, that's all the stuff that needs to go in. Quickly, I will show you the new battery that I got because my old one carped it. Um, so yeah, so I got a new battery here, replacing the old one, which is like an old, it was like a Hitachi or something, was in there when I bought the car. Anyway, so we've gone lead acid again because I'm keeping the battery in the engine bay. So obviously AGM's not good for heat, so keep them out of the engine bay. But because I wanted to keep it in here, I've gone lead acid again. And I've gone for the Century, uh, 102 amp hour deep cycle battery. Pretty much just got it because Super Cheap Auto had a sale. That's pretty much the only reason. The old one was lead acid and it did fine. This is a deep cycle. Uh, also too, the cable we're using to run from the second battery here to the uh, canopy, I've just got this dual, I've split it, but dual um, cable. It's a six gauge um, and it should be plenty for the power draw that I'm using. It's only gonna be pretty much a fridge and some LEDs and maybe a few phones. So this is good for like close to 100 amps, 80 amps or something like that. So we, and we won't even be using anywhere near that. So should be no worries. So first step, I've already just quickly run this first cable through the firewall and out the back. I will have to run another one for the return from the solar controller, but whether I do that right now I'm not sure but yeah now we can start pretty much we'll go to the back start putting Anderson plugs on the end mounting up where that Anderson plug is going to sit and then we can get power into the canopy itself so let's do that so we're doing these Anderson plugs pretty much I think they call this like flood soldering I'm not 100% sure but pretty much you just heat up the Anderson plug like the connector fill it with solder and then when it's filled, you just dip your wire in it and let it cool and then it's sold. So that's pretty much what we're doing. Just using a little gas torch to heat up the... All right, and there we go. And then we get our Anderson plug, just like that. And then that one looks like a hook, just like that. Mount it like that, open your cover, and that goes in there like so. All right, cool. So at the moment, I'm just, we're gonna put in the inline fuse for the canopy. Uh, obviously running on the positive wire. So I think these are meant to be fully like waterproof pretty much. Because the seal's there, seal's on the outside. Completely safe from the elements of Telangi mud. <laughs> All right, so here we have the little box, which will be putting the switch panel on, the solar controller, and maybe the fuse block, I'm not sure yet. Obviously the cool thing is that it is lockable. Not that I need it to be lockable in a sense, but like from other people, but when it's locked, it won't open. All my stuff's there and then, oh no, I have a fault. I need to fix wires, unlock, and all your wires are in there. To fit like this on, whichever way it ends up going, uh, we'll obviously cut, be cutting a section out of that so that this can fit in there. And then obviously all the wiring will sit nice in the back there, hidden away. Yeah, so this box, pretty much, you get the idea gonna sit up there like that. Uh, I'm just gonna rivet it in from the back and then obviously when I need to, need to access all the wire and stuff on the inside, opens up, closes. Yeah, bing bang, bob your uncle. Alright, 
right, now we have a hole in the box. Damn, Daniel. That looks pretty good, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that's grouse. That looks clean as. All right, and we're gonna rivet that. Yes, very pleased. Been too nice for the canopy. <laughs> All right, I'll get some marks and I'll drill them out and then we can. What a shit bloody tool. Don't buy it. Workforce. Pathetic. All right, as you saw there, a bit of a struggle with the rivets and things, but we've got the switch board on and the solar controllers on. Um, keep in mind, this will be going on there as well, but we're just gonna double side tape it. And this, that's gonna be mounted on the inside, double sided tape as well. And then once we get them in there, pretty much good to mount this box up. Uh, a lot of the wiring should be pretty easy because it's on the one spot, so I'm happy to do a bit of it in there. But um, yeah, we'll get some double sided tape, whack these things on, and then we can mount the box up on the inside. All right, so as you can see, we've got the box mounted on there, nice and sturdy. We've got all the um, instruments on the front, on the inside, yet to wire them up. And we've also got uh, our fuse block that's gonna sit there. So pretty much, I'm gonna get the power into the canopy and um, then we'll see how we're going for time because it is getting late, late-ish. All right, so as you can see, also ended up putting some gas struts into the canopy. Uh, as a few of you recommended in the last vid, you said go Dun & Watson stuff, so that's what I did. Got some Dun & Watson gas struts as well as some new pop locks for the doors. Needed to wire up a few brackets just to mount them off and they've all gone in smoothly and they work really well with the doors. All right, so as you can see here, a little bit's changed. Got wires and now coming in through a grommet. Uh, they just go onto the positive and negative terminals here, just for now, just for testing. We've just got the top uh, things wired up. Got our fuse, just gonna use a 20 amp just for testing purposes today. So if we stick that in there, like so, and then we gotta connect in our Anderson plug. So that's where that comes out out the back. And this will all be routed and conduited eventually, just, this is just a test for now. So we plug that into there. We should have power to that. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> <laughs> First time. So, yeah, so that's on blue, look at that. So, and then obviously this USB pellet should be working as well. Yep, so power is finally in the box, which is good. So it all works as it should. Also too, you'll notice with this, that has got LEDs in the, in the um, middle of the fuse block. So pretty much if a fuse blows, and I'll just do a demonstration, so Fuse blows, light comes on. So quick way to like easily identify if anything stuffs up. You don't have to go looking around for what's broken or stuff like that. Or even if you don't know about it, it'll tell you even if you haven't realized yet sort of thing. All right, so we've just hooked up oh, just the power for the LEDs on the switches. And also just for the solar controller, the input to the battery, just hook that up to the main positive and neg. But we've still got to run the input and mount the solar panel up on the roof. And also got to do, got to put LED, just strip lighting, just basic stuff and hook that up to the switches and that sort of thing. So that'll be the next thing to do. All right, so we are pretty much ready to do the LED lighting. Um, quick note, first of all, we've put in these connection, uh, waterproof, yeah, connection things. Anyway, pretty much what they are, they're just like a plastic housing that goes through your hole. We've put one in the back as well. And the way they work is pretty much, you've got a rubber seal on the inside. And obviously that goes through the wall and it clamps on the other side. And then on this side, you put your wire through and you tighten down and this rubber seal closes up and it closes up around the wire to pretty much make it waterproof. So not that these ones in here have to be waterproof, but it was just like a neat way to do it. So it mainly was doing it for this one here. So that's all waterproof now. So yeah, we've got them in the top. So that's going to be for like our LED wires, um, solar panel wires going to come through one, perhaps a couple Anderson plug wires if we just have exposed Anderson plugs to plug stuff into. For the strip lighting, it's just like cheap eBay stuff, just a warm white. We're going to cut it obviously into the lengths that we need. So I plan on doing sort of four strips for the time being. So there'll be a strip behind this edge so that you can't see with your eyes and then a strip behind this beam as well and then we're going to repeat that on the other side as well and there each side's going to be on separate switches so that I can not that you have to do each side independently but I've got that many switches there and I figured if I'm just cooking out of this side and that side doesn't have to be lit up I might as well just be able to do this side all right so we've got everything wired up in how it should be obviously it's not mounted up yet it's easy to do it while it's in easy access but we're just going to test that the LEDs work so fingers crossed it's got positive and negative let's see what happens Hey! All right, lights work. That's a big plus. So now we can stick the lighting up. All right, that was easy. 
All right, well, I believe this is probably the most essential mod to any any canopy setup. It doesn't matter what, this is like, you have to do this mod. And that mod is none other than Aussie Arvo sticker. <laughs> so, you know where to get these, aussiearvos.com.au, free shipping Australia wide, they're five bucks. So, you know, just helps us out. And we love seeing them everywhere. We have people tell us all the time when they see an Aussie Arvo sticker, it's just awesome. So, we're gonna stick this on here. We're gonna christen the canopy with the sticker. So, let's see if I can not place this crooked. I'm gonna get critiqued for my sticker placing ability. Yeah, you are. There you go, that's good. Ah. Right. Yeah, so this is, I'm probably gonna turn this into a bit of a sticker wall because, you know, the paint's not that good, so stickers probably look better. So yeah, I'll throw a few stickers of people that'll help us out. Trade works, you can go on there. Um, got a few other things that, um, yeah, we'll just slowly add them on over time and um, you never know, one day we might fill, the, we might fill it. All right, so it has been a while since I last did some work on the canopy that you guys saw. You would have seen, uh, put in some LED strips two strips here so they can't be seen in and like only two strips but surprising at night the whole canopy is just lit up completely so i probably will down the track be putting in another set of lights on the other side but i haven't got around to that yet so that's been working really well for what i need it the other major thing that we've done which you would have seen in the title is the solar so that was the main thing i wanted to complete with this canopy that's what it was all waiting for so as you can see we've got a 110 watt king solar panel up top which is the one that came with the canopy so i've got that mounted up there just fixed it with um just tech screws up through the bottom but then ran a bead of silicon around the bottom so it's all watertight so coming down from the panel uh just runs through the hole in the canopy with the grommet runs into an Anderson plug. So I made it unpluggable in case for whatever reason. I don't know why I'd have to unplug it, but you know, just cause. Uh, runs through the box. First runs into this little meter, which um, is just a really basic meter off of eBay. <laughs> and it um, just gives you like an amp reading, the voltage off the panel gives you watt reading. And then it has like a cycle of like amp hours, watt hours, a few different things. Um, I was mainly just concerned about the amp um, reading and the voltage reading. But yeah, so runs through that, runs into the King solar controller, which also came with the canopy. And then from there, you'll see on the inside, that runs straight into the negative on the battery and also into one of the fused um, positives on the fuse box. I've also wired in, there's an Anderson plug underneath here, which can either, which is also fused through the box and that can either be used for an output for an appliance and also you could plug a solar blanket into it because the solar blankets they have like their own controller in them so if you put that it's pretty much just putting it straight on the terminals so you don't need to run it through the other stuff also too with the fuse box it's probably worth noting because as you know this is ebay stuff and so not the most trusted bit of equipment so the issue we were having when we first started wiring up lights little things like that we actually noticed that even when there was no fuse there was actually a leak so rather than getting zero voltage when the fuse was out, it was actually leaking like 11 volts, which although it wasn't enough to power certain appliances, it would be enough to leak power for like the LEDs and it's still running power, which is no good. So what I did, I put it apart and the little LEDs that light up when there's no fuse, that was where uh, power was leaking from. So I pretty much thought stuff and I don't need LEDs to tell me when my fuse is blown. So disconnected that and now it is a proper fuse box. So when the fuse blows, the circuit cuts, which is how it should be, because we want to be safe. Um, I did actually use this over the Easter weekend. So not with the solar. Haven't used, haven't tested out the solar yet camping, but have used the rest of it with the new battery and running fridges and lights and things. And with all that, works awesome. Didn't have to start my car every two days to charge up the batteries. I'm just using the solar blanket before I had all this done up. It was more than enough to keep the battery topped up for the fridge, keep the fridge running. Yeah, so as I've mentioned before, sticking with the theme of, I suppose, this car, this is a budget 12 volt. It's by, by no means the best. Hasn't got all the, you know, every single bell and whistle and all different bits and bobs. This is very budget. But although it's done budget, this is still done properly. So, Yes, it is eBay components, and assuming the components themselves hold, hold out, then it should be fine. All the wiring's done properly. So, yeah, it does everything I need it to. I wouldn't, I don't need a, you know, $700 12 volt setup. This is all that I need to just have power on the move. And with that solar panel, it really is a great addition because I can go out, camp somewhere, and just have literally constant power. Like, even as you'll notice now, 
the battery, that's sitting on 14 volts right now. The car, when it turned off, it would drop down to like 13.5 and then the solar panel's just been feeding it up and up. So this is just constantly getting charged up the battery. So I'm really keen to see how it goes once you've got a fridge. We can run heaps of appliances and not stress about using power because the sun's always gonna be sitting out. And even if it's not sunny, like right now, there's a little bit of sun, not much. Like, not, like I'm not even casting a shadow on the ground, put it that way. And I'm still getting 1.1 amps, which doesn't sound like a lot, but over time, definitely adds up. So yeah, I'm really keen to see how it goes like on a proper trip and um, try to suck a bit of juice out of it. And um, yeah. All right, so even though the 12 volt is like, pretty much all done for what I want it for. That is not the end for this canopy. There's still a lot to do. So, um, things like spare tire, because I'm sick of undoing a strap every time I want to get to my canopy, if I have the tray sides on and I want more tray space. So that's going to be getting going on the back. Um, we got to do stuff like I want to put some rubber flooring, piss off that fake grass. Other big thing, obviously at the moment, I'm using just like milk crates, which slide around all over the place. I want to get some proper storage going in here so whether that that'll probably be turned into a bit of a diy try and make up some like shelves and drawers things like that so there's plenty to come still on the canopy um and so yeah you'll just have to stick around for that <laughs> 